The Cadence capsules are the most durable travel containers I've ever tested, but are they worth the price? These little Cadence capsules might not be ultra minimalist, but they're a great way to organize some of your liquids and smaller items. They're highly customizable. They come in recycled plastic containers, 100% waterproof. They stick together with magnets and they come in this cute little box with a personalized note and a card that turns into wildflowers. If you head over to the website, it allows you to choose your own label from a drop down list or you can add your own custom label, choose the color for each container. I chose to color code mine by theme. I have yellow like sunscreen like the sun, red for medications, laundry for lavender, and these three blue ones here, toothpaste, shampoo, and hair gel. I made them blue so they're easy to identify. I can just grab the blue ones when I'm heading to the shower. Next, looking at the specs on these, the capacity is 0.56 ounces. They weigh 1.3 ounces each meaning that the set of six I have here weighs almost eight ounces empty, which is almost half a pound. These containers work great, but it's hard to ignore the fact that they're very heavy, especially when compared to some lighter weight alternatives, like this 0.47 ounce go tub that weighs four grams, this one ounce capacity Nelgene container that weighs 10 grams, compared to an empty cadence tub that weighs 38 grams. They're also very expensive with this set of build your own that I got is $84 without even any customization. Now I wanna look at the function. We know these things are highly customizable, but they're heavy and expensive. So how well do they work and is it worth the price? The lid seals very tight, completely waterproof. I have laundry soap in here right now. Because there's no ridges around the lid, they can be slightly more difficult to open compared to some other bottles like this little Nalgene with a ridged lid. Some of the lids are slightly stickier than other ones, like this little red one I have is quite a bit harder to open than this purple one, which opens really easily. But there is texture on these things, so even right now I have it covered in dish soap and it's all wet, you can still get these things open. One great thing is these containers have rounded bottoms that fits the contour of your finger, so you can easily get the last of the liquid or gel out of the bottom compared to most containers that just have sharp corners. The waterproofing on these is fantastic. There's a little rubber ring that runs around the lid that seals perfectly with the main container. You don't need to worry about your liquids leaking out of these things. I have laundry soap in there right now. And you also don't need to worry about your dry items getting wet. You can dunk these things in water all day long and they're not gonna leak. One of the reasons these capsules are so heavy is because they have magnets built into the side of each container as well as into the lid. They have a hexagonal honeycomb design allowing you to take them apart and put them back together in multiple combinations. These labels are also removable and magnetic allowing you to take them off and switch them around, replace them if you want. And then the lid also sticks to the side of the container so you don't lose it. I have had a couple of these labels pop off and fall off the lid and get stuck on there, but it's not very common. I do wish these magnets were a little bit stronger. They hold together well when they're in a group like this, but when you start to separate them, the magnet can tend to fail when there's just two of them. As an example, you start to get these things. They're all full right now, stacking up. The magnet will start to fail when you're at four. However, these containers get a 10 out of 10 for durability, which I think is what makes them great to protect jewelry, but they're almost overkill for toothpaste. You can drop these things, stand on them, and maybe even run them over with a car. I thought that these would be thick and durable enough to run over with a car, so I thought I'd test it and let's have a look. This is the capsule after getting run over by a car. It has a slight bend in the lid, but it works just as good as it did before, and it's still waterproof. These capsules are great for some things, but not for others. They're good for products that you don't use a lot of, like toothpaste or hair gel. They're great for expensive products that don't come in travel size or refillable containers like cosmetics. They're not large enough for some items like sunscreen, shampoo, or conditioner. This 0.56 ounces will maybe last you three to four days and anything longer than that, and you're gonna have to refill it. 
but because they're so durable, these things are make a great safe for jewelry, earrings, rings. You can throw a cotton ball in there and they're not gonna jingle around. Drive them over with a car and this thing won't be damaged. My favorite things about the Cadence capsules is the customization. There's virtually unlimited label and color combinations. They have a great aesthetic. They stick together with these magnets. They're very functional, 100% waterproof. They don't leak and they're incredibly durable. However, they are heavy and expensive, especially compared to some lightweight alternatives. And you do lose capacity because the sidewall has to be thick enough to hold the magnets. I hope you enjoyed this review on the Build Your Six set of the Cadence capsules. And again, thanks for watching.